I'm Charles, and today I'm going to give you my top five tips to diagnose a bad fuel pump. That way you can verify that you're making the right repair and not just throwing money at your machine. Now, fuel pressure has a huge impact on how your machine runs, and some of the most common issues we see with fuel injection systems happen right down at the fuel pump and the fuel delivery system. So whether your machine is cutting out on acceleration or under load, or maybe it's just hard to start, there's a few checks you wanna make, but before we get into all that, you wanna check the obvious stuff first. So make sure your battery voltage is all the way up. Make sure you have fresh fuel in your tank. You also wanna check and make sure you have a clean air filter. Now, if you have a check engine light or malfunction indicator light on, you wanna use your self-diagnostic feature, look up that code and go through any checks that are outlined in your service manual. Now, with all that being said, we're also assuming that you have good compression and good spark. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the fuel system. Tip number one is what to do when your fuel pump doesn't cycle. So one of the first checks you wanna make is turn your key to the run position without starting it and you wanna to listen for a buzz coming from the fuel pump. That should last about two to three seconds. If you don't hear that buzz, then you know you have issues. So what you're gonna to wanna to do before you replace the fuel pump is check to make sure you have power going down to it. Now, sometimes these connectors, you're gonna have multiple wires running down there. You might have a sending unit that tells you what your fuel level is at. So make sure you're testing the power wire and the ground wire going to the pump itself. You can use your wiring diagrams to do that. Now, to make that check, what I like to do is use two paper clips for back probes. I'm gonna back probe both of those wires and then take my digital multimeter. I'm gonna be in the 12 volt range and I'm gonna check for power going across there when I turn the key on to that run position. If you see that power come on for a couple seconds and turn off, then you know you have power going to the pump and the pump is actually bad and needs to be replaced. Now, if you don't measure any power going down to the pump, you're gonna to wanna to check for an open circuit or check the parts that control that circuit. So that could be things like your fuel cut and engine stop relays, your stop switch, your bank angle sensor, your ECM, and you wanna use your manual and keep going through those checks until you find the problem. Now, if your fuel pump did cycle, you're gonna to wanna to move on to tip number two, which is make sure your fuel system holds pressure with the key on and the engine off. So with this, we've got our Tusk fuel pressure tester hooked up already. We're gonna turn our key on. You can see that comes up to pressure. And as soon as that fuel pump shuts off, you can see it drops a couple pounds, which is totally normal. The main thing is to make sure the needle doesn't keep dropping down. If it drops all the way down, you know you have a bad check valve inside the fuel pump. Now, if the system doesn't hold pressure, you know the check valve in the fuel pump is bad. The whole point of that check valve is to hold pressure in the fuel line. It's gonna help with quicker starting. So if your machine cranks over for a second before it starts up and you get those readings on your gauge, then you know that check valve is bad and you're gonna to have to replace your pump. Tip number three is to check your fuel pressure under acceleration. Now, once you start the machine, you wanna make sure the fuel pressure stays consistent when you blip the throttle and hold it at a constant throttle opening. If it's low at any point, you know you have some issues and that fuel pressure has a big impact on the spray pattern for your fuel injectors and it's gonna change how the bike runs. So that's gonna bring me to tip number four. Tip four is low pressure is gonna cause a lean running condition. So if you saw that needle drop or if it was consistently low, you know the engine is not getting enough fuel. So if the machine idles fine and then cuts out on, the, on acceleration, or if it starts to rev out and then cuts out, again, you know you're not getting enough fuel. Now there's a couple things that can cause this. One, you could have a worn out fuel pump. And two, you could have some clogged fuel filters which brings me to tip number five. Tip number five is to replace your fuel filter at the recommended interval. Some machines are gonna have multiple filters or a screen and a filter. So be aware of that and check your manual for the recommended intervals and how to get that done. With that said, a filter that is clogged up is the number one reason for low fuel pressure. So if that's what's going on with your machine, get those changed out and then double check your pressure and make sure it's up to spec. Now on the KTM Group motorcycles, these are great examples of machines that have more than one fuel filter. So you've got one in the tank and then you've got one that is in line. And again, if these get clogged up, you're gonna have some issues. So 
make sure you stay up on the service intervals. Now the last thing with filters, if you had to use a pressure gauge that you weren't able to run the machine while you were using it, like when you use one of these universal adapters, you're going straight to that pump, what you can do is check the fuel flow as well. So what you're gonna do is connect a hose to that fuel pump fitting, you're gonna cycle your key and measure how much fuel flow comes out. Really, you're just looking for a nice solid stream. If it drizzles out, you know you have clogged fuel filters and you need to get in there and replace them. So those are my top five tips for diagnosing a faulty fuel pump. Hopefully these tips help you guys save some money and get the correct repairs done. Now I do wanna give you guys a few bonus tips before we go. So one, heat kills fuel pumps. So if you constantly run a low level in your fuel tank, your pump can run hotter than it normally does and prematurely wear out. Number two, if you wanna prevent your filters from clogging up, you can pre-filter your fuel with a screen that either sits in the gas tank or you can use a funnel. And the last thing, if you're gonna store your machine, you wanna prevent everything from gumming up, so use some stabilizer in there. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments below. And if you need any of the products that we've shown you today, you can find those on our website, whether it's a fuel pump, fuel pressure tester, or even some stabilizer. Now, if you wanna see more helpful content like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ETVMC. Thanks for watching.